हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स एंड दिस इज इन कॉन्टिन्यूएसन विद डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ सीयरिंग एंड बियरिंग स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ बोल्ड्स सो एज वी हैव डिस्कस्ड इन प्रीवियस वीडियो दैट सीयर स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ बोल्ड्स डिपेंड्स ऑन एफ यू बी अल्टीमेट टेंसाइल स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ बोल्ड नंबर ऑफ सीयर प्लेन्स विद थ्रेड्स और विदाउट थ्रेड्स दैट इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाई एन एन और एन एस एंड द कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग एरियाज ऑफ द सीयर प्लेन दैट इज ए एस बी एंड ए एन बी so this is the shear capacity of bolt being given in the is code and uh, little uh, uh, misprinting is done in this pdf but you can understand vnsb this is the nominal shear capacity of bolt okay not the design shear capacity of bolt design shear capacity of bolt vdsb will be equal to vnsb divided by gamma mb and gamma mb is equal to 1.25 okay so we are here calculating vnsb nominal shear capacity of bolt so there are few reduction factors which we have studied in shear for long joints okay and if the length of joint exceeds 15 times the diameter so such a section will be long section and if section is long there will be a stress in outer bolts and inner uh, more than the inner bolts so we have to apply the reduction factor beta lj and beta lj is given by this formula 1.075 minus lj by 200 times d now this formula is already given in the code also and we can see the formula from there also and here lj means the length of joint which is the distance between the first and last row of bolts measured in the direction of load so if you uh, if you see the joint length is not larger than the 15 times diameter bolt then if you put all the values it will come nearly about 1 so when our joint is not large okay when our joint is not a long joint then we have to put simply beta lj is equal to 1 okay and if there are cases of long joint then we have to use this formula then there is reduction factor in shear for large grip length and large grip length occurs when we have more thickness of plates so here i have tried to show you the large grip length so this is grip the distance between the top washer to the bottom washer or the head and the bolt so this increases by having more thicker plates okay and in those cases there are chances of more bending moment in section so for safe design we reduce again the shear strength of the bolt by this factor beta lg okay and it happens when the grip length exceeds 5 times the nominal diameter of bolt okay so in those cases of more grip length we have to use beta lg and beta lg is given by this formula in the code beta lg is equal to 8d divided by 8d plus lg okay here lg is this uh, grip which you are seeing na grip okay so this is factor beta lg and if our joint is not having large grip length then we can simply use beta lg equal to 1 okay and there is third reduction factor which is uh, incorporated if we use packing plates so packing plate thickness if it exceeds 6 mm now here in this figure you are seeing this packing plate packing plate is used to connect two plates of unequal thickness now you are seeing here uh, the first plate main plate 1 having thickness 18 mm and plate number 2 is having a thickness of only 8 mm okay or like that so there is a gap of almost 10 mm so that we have to fill by use of a packing plate so it is shown here already so this is given by the formula beta pk is equal to 1 minus 
वन टू फाइव टी पी के जी वेयर टी पी के इज द थिकनेस ऑफ पैकिंग प्लेट इन मिलीमीटर ओके नाउ वी कैन राइट द फाइनल फॉर्मूला ऑफ नॉमिनल स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ ज्वाइंट नॉमिनल सीयर स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ ज्वाइंट वी एन एस बी एज दिस इज द फाइनल फॉर्मूला एफ यू बी बाई रूट थ्री मल्टीप्लाइड बाई एन एन ए एन बी प्लस एन एस ए एस बी एंड देन इट इज मल्टीप्लाइड बाई थ्री फैक्टर बीटा एल जे बीटा एल जी बीटा पी के सी इफ देर आर नो केसेस ऑफ अ स्पेशल ज्वाइंट यू जस्ट हैव टू पुट ऑल दीज थ्री फैक्टर्स इक्वल टू वन डू नॉट वरी मच बीटा एल जे बीटा एल जी बीटा पी के पुट ऑल थ्री फैक्टर्स इक्वल टू वन ओके But if there are cases of packing plates or larger grip or long joint, then you have to use these factors. Now, then we have to incorporate the partial safety factor of material gamma m b, and it is equal to 1.25 to get the design strength of joint. So this is V D S b, okay, is equal to V N S b by gamma m b. So this is done again here. So it is very simple, and now gamma m b. is generally kept as 1.25 only okay in case of bolts so here we have done for your example we have done a small example for a 4.6 grade bolt now we know the ultimate strength of tensile strength of bolt in 4.6 grade it will be 400 mega pascal and it is calculated as 400 By root three, and this is design shear strength of bolt into one point two five partial safety factor, and then the same thing areas and factors are multiplied. Okay, so this can be done in the cases of uh, different problems in which area will be also be provided. So this is uh, how we calculate in different situations. Okay. so these uh, all these notations and failures single shear failure double shear failure we have understood and then we discussed about the bearing strength capacity of bolt and due to bearing what happens either the hole elongates and now the hole will elongates if the plate is failing in bearing okay or the bolt may deform due to excessive bearing also tearing of the plate also occurs okay so bearing stress not greater than nominal bearing strength of bolt now how to calculate this nominal bearing strength of bolt this vnpb is given by the is 800 equal to 2.5 kb dt into fu now kb is smaller of these four values which we have to calculate and all the notations i have discussed already and here it is used fub not the fu okay because fu is the ultimate tensile stress of plate and fub is the ultimate tensile strength of bolt okay t is the total thickness of connected plate subjected to bearing stress in the same direction okay so this i will try to explain in the numericals also and then we divide this v and pb by gamma mb and uh, we get the design bearing strength of bolt equal to v and pb divided by gamma mb okay so extra things are written here you can ignore that no problem okay so these uh, type of different types of bolts i will not be considering much and then there is last that is the tensile strength of plate so this is also very very important see all these things are the parts of unit 3 uh, that is the tension members and if we discuss it here also so it will not be a loss but uh, uh, these formulas you will understand gradually also in the unit 3 but uh, how to calculate the tensile strength of plate now what happen if we apply the tensile force on the plate what happens if the bolts are of sufficient strength then bolts do not fail but the plates tear apart 
now the plates will tear apart on the critical section and the critical section is where which where you have provided maximum number of holes and due to provision of holes there is reduction in net area cross sectional area of plate and how do we calculate the reduction in area so that is net area of the plate at the critical sections see there is gross area of the uh, plate that is equal represented by letter ag and ag is equal to if the width of plate is b and be multiplied by the thickness of plate so this is gross area but if we have provided uh, n number of holes of diameter d not or dh and if it is a chain bolting okay so in case of chain bolting which you are seeing in this diagram this is a chain bolting so in that case we have to reduce the width of plate and in that case uh, the net area is represented by an and an will be equal to width minus if we have provided n holes of diameter dh or d not whatever you represent and then be multiplied with the thickness of plate this is what we get as the net area in case of chain bolting now there is another pattern of bolting that is staggered pattern of bolting so in a staggered pattern of bolting because it is a staggered pattern so the critical section will follow a staggered path if it wants to break the plate so due to staggering in the path the path length will increase isn't it the path length will increase if i draw the diagram of staggered uh, bolting and it is like this so uh, the failure will occur in this direction it will start from here okay and it will start failing like this like this like this and this and this isn't it whereas in case of chain bolting it would have just simply five bolts in one row and the failure would occur simply through this critical section and there should be a linear failure and in comparison to chain bolting staggered bolting is more stronger because there is a larger length of uh, critical section failure here so the net area also increases here so of course we write net area here as a net is equal to b minus n dh if there are n number of holes here in this case there are five holes so we have to put the value of n equal to 5 and diameter of hole is dh okay so n dh plus we have to add because there is a staggering and we add this value okay and this is the summation of pitch square divided by 4g how many times we have to do it as the number of times of a staggering i is equal to 1 to m now in this case if you see there is staggering first of all staggering is here first staggering second staggering third staggering fourth staggering so here is four staggering okay and this value of width is multiplied by the thickness of plate so this is how we calculate the net area in case of a staggered bolting and i will explain you this formula again in the tension members also now what to do with these net areas and gross areas now this area of the um, plates will give us the tensile strength of plate so the tensile strength of plate is given by formula t and d and it is equal to 0.9 into net area multiplied by fu now here we are not using fub because fub means ultimate tensile strength of bolt but here we have to use the value of fu fu is equal to tensile strength of plate okay and then we divide it by gamma ml and gamma ml is partial safety factor again equal to 1.25 okay and an an is the net effective area in millimeter square 
and if it is a chain bolting we have to use this formula and if it is a staggered bolting we have to use this formula okay and multiplied by the thickness and fu is the ultimate tensile strength of plate in mega pascal and if you do this multiplication along with the, the factor 0 0.9 you get the tensile strength of plate okay so this is how we calculate the tensile strength of plate and then finally it is asked the strength of joint what is the strength of joint and what is the efficiency of joint now the strength of bolted joint in most of the lap joints and butt joint it is equal to minimum of these three strength values first one is the shear strength of the bolts now we have to multiply the shear strength of one bolt into the number of total number of bolts second one is the bearing strength of joint which is equal to bearing strength of one bolt into total number of bolts and third one is the tensile strength of the plate okay so here we have to take the minimum of three strength values and if we take the minimum of these three strength value that becomes the strength of bolted joint okay now this is the strength of bolted joint now it is asked sometime to calculate the efficiency of connections now what is efficiency of connections efficiency of connection is equal to and it is represented by letter eta eta okay and eta is equal to strength of bolted joint okay divided by strength of solid plate now many things are written here which you need not too much go strength of the bolted joint strength of bolted joint is clear we have to take the minimum of these three strength okay and it is divided by the gross strength of solid plate solid plate was the condition of plate in which there was no holes so this can be equal to eta can be equal to minimum of we can write it uh, v and sb v dsb sorry VDSB, which is the design shear strength of bolt, VDPB, and TDN. Uh, minimum of all these three strength divided by TDG, gross strength of solid plate, multiplied by hundred. Now you will ask, sir, you have not told us the formula of TDG. How to calculate the strength of solid plate when there was no holes? so this formula is also given in uh, is code and uh, tdg is given as it is equal to gross area of plate which is equal to width of the plate into the thickness multiplied by the yield strength of plate and divide it by 1.1 or in some cases it is written 1.1 instead of it is written the gamma mo and gamma mo is taken as 1.1 so this is the formula of calculation of gross strength of solid plate okay so when we calculate all these four strengths then we can calculate the strength of the joint and the efficiency of the joint also so this completes your uh, topic of bolted connections and till now we have discussed only the uh, rough bolts or the normal uh, bearing type of bolts and it is not the hsfg type of bolt these all are the black bolts or the ordinary bolts okay we will be discussing also on the hsfg bolt also very soon but here in this slide you can see the chain bolting and a staggered type of bolting and here this is the pitch the center to center distance between two consecutive bolt and it is measured parallel to the direction of force okay so this is pitch and this is gauge one and this is gauge one and this is gauge two so gauge is the center to center distance between two consecutive bolts measured perpendicular to the direction of force and this direction of force be applied on both the ends of the plate 
so this is how we use all these parameters in our analysis problems now it is asked in this example that two plates are connected by single bolted double cover butt joint using m20 bolts at 60 mm pitch steel grades 410 megapascals and bolts grade is 4.6 calculate the efficiency of joint now this is also the diagram which will be provided in the question itself so here we can also see some more uh, dimensions which are given like the thickness of main plate is 6 mm thickness of cover plate is 4 mm and assume bolt pitch is 60 mm and end distance is 30 mm okay so as we have discussed with you in the previous video that when we say m20 bolts it means the nominal diameter of bolt is 20 mm okay so we can write the diameter of uh, the hole is will be equal to nominal diameter of bolt 20 mm plus 2 which is equal to 22 mm now the plate has uh, the grade steel of fe 410 okay so this value of stresses you need not to consider much okay and uh, for fe 410 grade steel ultimate strength fu for the plate will be equal to 410 megapascal okay so this is fu ultimate tensile strength for plate not the bolt we will see about the bolt also so for the bolt it is calculated from the grade of the bolt so grade of the bolt is 4.6 and we have to multiply 4 with 100 to get the ultimate strength of bolt fub and fub is equal to 400 mega pascal okay now partial safety factor for bolt material will be equal to 1.25 and we can calculate since this is not a special type of joint so we can directly put beta lg beta lj and beta pk all equal to 1 directly okay so the strength of bolt in shear v nsb is given by this formula and uh, here uh, there is only one line of bolt so no question of overloading beta lj is 1 beta lg is 1 beta pk is 1 since there is no packing plates and uh, neither the grip length is larger so we can directly use this formula okay so we can calculate the nominal shear strength of bolt and it is a double cover butt joint okay so the bolts will be in double shear isn't it there are two shear plane the first shear plane is here on this level and second shear plane is on this level so there this is a double shear case and if we assume you can also assume uh, and if you do assumption because since there is nothing given in the diagram as well as in the question then you can assume whatever you like here in this case um, we are assuming that both the shear planes is lying in the net area section or the threaded section so we can put an n equal to 2 and then correspondingly we have to put ns is equal to 0 and net area of bolt one bolt is calculated as 157 mm square now how it is calculated a and b will be equal to 0.78 and pi d is square by 4 and here d is equal to 20 mm so it comes out to be 157 mm square so if we use all these values in this formula so then we arrive to uh, it is equal to nn is equal to 2 and uh, an b will be equal to 157 multiplied by fub and this is here it should be 157 okay it is wrongly written here 157 because we have assumed that both the shear planes are in the net area section and it multiplied it by fub and then divide it by root 3 and this is the 
partial safety factor for bolt okay so after doing all this calculation we have to calculate what will be the shear strength of bolt okay so you need to check this value okay after calculating shear strength of bolt then we have to calculate the strength of m20 bolts in bearing also now for the formula in bearing it is given by this formula and this is not vnpb this is vdpb so there are many mistakes that's why discussion in video or in the class is very very helpful so design strength uh, of bolt in bearing will be equal to 2.5 kb dt fu divided by gamma mb now kb will be smaller of these four values and we know that d is equal to 20 mm okay and uh, d not will be equal to uh, 20 uh, 2 mm okay and uh, pitch of the bolt is given as 60 mm and end distance of bolt is 30 mm everything is given in the question and fub ultimate tensile strength of bolt is 400 megapascal and fu is equal to ultimate tensile strength of plate that is 410 megapascal and t is the minimum of thickness of the connected plates sum of cover plates that is equal to 6 mm now how it is calculated we can see also from the diagram where pitch and end distance are shown and we can see it is a case of butt joint and we have simply added here uh, the summation of thicknesses of plates and then we have taken the minimum of both the values now how to get the value of thickness so let us see t is equal to minimum of two value of thickness now if you see on this bolt one single bolt what do you see we apply force from this direction and we also apply force from this direction so for 6 mm T uh, for 6 mm uh, the direction of bearing is in the left side whereas uh, on this plate and on this plate direction of bearing is on which side right side so we have to do summation of these thicknesses which are having bearing in the same direction so we add the thickness value having the bearing direction in same direction that is 4 mm plus 4 mm so it comes out to be 8 mm okay and if we take the minimum of these two values we will be taking the uh, t is equal to 6 mm okay okay so this is our thickness value as uh, we have calculated and uh, we have taken t is equal to 6 mm also in this case now kb will be calculated as e by 3 d naught p by 3 d naught minus 0 0.25 fub by fu and 1 so we have got all these four values out of these four values uh, the minimum value is 0 0.454 so that we have chosen and then we have calculated the design bearing strength of bolt VDPV uh, and here we have divided it with the partial safety factor of bolt and we have used all the values see here the, the diameter of bolt is equal to 20 mm and thickness of plate is chosen as 6 mm only and FU here it is very very important that we have used FUB okay and FUB is 4 megapascal and it comes out to be this now what is the strength of bolts so strength of bolts will be minimum of strength of bolt in searing and in bearing so if you see in searing we have got if this was a right calculation done then 90 kilo newton is the strength in searing and 43 kilo newton is the strength of bolt in bearing so the minimum of these two value is 43 kilo newton okay now we have to also determine the strength of uh, plates also 
so this was the minimum strength of bolts one bolt only now we do not have the idea of total number of bolts so we have just calculated for one bolt now we have determined here the strength also per pitch length now why we are saying all the time per pitch length see we do it per pitch length when we do not have the ideas of number of bolts so we do it for only one pitch and we consider there is only one bolt that's why in the calculation of net area an an is calculated here as the you can see this is the formula of uh, net tensile strength of plate and it is equal to 0.9 into an into fu by gamma ml and here it is calculated as 0.9 multiplied by 60 minus 22 now what is this 60 60 is the width of the plate and what is this 22 22 is the uh, diameter of one bolt hole okay and t is the thickness of plate t here is the main plate thickness which is equal to 6 mm and this is multiplied by what fu and here fu is 410 mega pascal not the 400 mega pascal and it is divided by gamma ml which is equal to 1.25 and if we do all the calculation, we get the net tensile strength of plate, 67.3 kN. So if we combine all the three types of strength, and then we can easily determine the strength of joint per pitch length, which will be minimum of all the three types of strength. A strength of bolt, which is the minimum of strength of bolt in searing and bearing, and then there is a strength of plate. So we have already done the minimum of these two value is 43 kilo Newton, 43.58 kilo Newton. So we choose directly it here and we compare it with the strength of plate and we choose the minimum out of these two strength and it again comes out that strength of joint is 43.58 kilo Newton. Now this is the strength of joint per pitch length. Now we have to calculate the efficiency of joint. So efficiency of joint will be calculated uh, when we do the uh, gross strength of the plate also. So here TDG is not calculated. What it is being shown here, it is uh, something wrong is printed here and TDG we have to calculate uh, separately and TDG can be calculated as simply it, you can write it gross area, gross area will be equal to 60 is the width multiplied by the thickness thickness is 6 mm and gross area of plate is multiplied by fy fy is the yield strength of plate which is equal to 250 mega pascal okay or newton per mm square and you divide it by gamma mo and gamma mo is 1.1 so when you do this calculation you get the value of tdg and uh, this TDG is used to calculate the efficiency of joint eta and eta is equal to strength of joint per pitch length which is equal to 43.58 kN and you divide it by the value of TDG and multiply it by 100 and the percentage value you need to check what it is coming I have not checked so you need to check all these calculations again in your notebook and then you calculate the efficiency of joint very easily okay so this is how we calculate the efficiency of joints now this was the case of calculating the strength and efficiency of joint in case of double cover single bolted bar joint but if if we slightly change the question and we ask you to calculate the efficiency of joint if joint have two lines of bolts so such a joint will be said as double cover double bolted butt joint okay so the same thing is written here and you can see in this case we have done little modification and that is in just in the case of sear strength of bolt okay and here we have just multiplied it by two because we have increased one more row of bolt on each side of the plate so the sear strength will also be doubled similarly the bearing strength will also be doubled and the strength of plate will be going to be same again it is same as the earlier case and the minimum of all these three 
will be 67.3 kilo newton so you see how the plate now becomes weaker than the bolts so that's why the strength of plate becomes the strength of the joint because that becomes the minimum now out of all these three values of strength and when we do the calculation of strength of solid plate which is again same and then we calculate the efficiency of joint and you do the division of strength of joint and strength of solid plate and multiplied by 100 and you can calculate the value of efficiency of joint which comes out to be 63 percent so this is how we calculate the strength of joint and the efficiency of joint in different cases also so we will be discussing about high strength friction grip bolts also in the upcoming videos so till that stay tuned and stay safe thank you